Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. Hey guys, what's up? How is everybody? Awesome. Right. Okay. So hi Sagar. Hi Lakshita. Lovely, lovely to see. Hi Praveen Vashini. Unique. Put your name. Thank you. So guys, lovely to see all of you. Welcome to another session. Right. Uh, so we are going to deal with four interesting stories. All right. As I already told you, the way it goes is I will explain you the summary of the four stories and then ask you one question from each stories and one grant. Yes. Are you guys ready? Hello. Hello, Shraddha. Welcome. Hi Kanha, hi Suhani. Suhani, I remember you. Yeah. Shristi, hi. Arihant, hi Beta. Lovely, lovely to see. Hey guys, by the way, did you participate in the Menti Mahayud that me, uh, myself, and uh, Priyam am conducted yesterday? Did you enjoy it? You want more of it? Hi Muskan Singh, hi Divyanshu, Praveen, thank you Beta, love you too. Yes, 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 awesome. In fact, I really enjoyed it. It was kind of, you know, it was like an action movie, right? Bang, 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 it was going on. So lovely. Let us move on. Hey guys, so uh, quickly, in case there are few phases which are uh, new for me. So I'll just speak to you or give you a quick one minute context on what Vedantu Young Wonders is all about. This channel is for 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. All of you know about it. And uh, we have both academic and non-academic offerings. Academically, we handle math, science, social and English grammar. And for revision, we call it as Pariksha. Right? We handle in entire English literature as well. Not just grammar. Non-academically, we have a lot of series happening. Series on general knowledge, series on uh, do's and don'ts of mathematics, series on um, uh, Vipad Shala, which is currently, you know, Pratisha is only. And we also have uh, a series on how does it work. So many things, guys. Foundation series. So make use of it. It's a bouquet of offering, which will make you a complete student. Right? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yes, whenever you subscribe, see that bell icon there. Do not forget, whenever you subscribe, click on the bell icon. Cool. All right. Hey guys, in case you guys like the master teachers of Vedantu and you would want to learn from us directly, we have a beautiful proposition for you and you are, I am talking to you at the perfect time because we have a great offer for all of you. What is so special about the subscription? This subscription is going to give any student who enrolls unlimited live classes with quizzes. Class and quiz, what's so special about it? Guys, in the class, when the teacher is teaching, you're going to learn. And with the quiz, you're going to have fun learning. All right. That's the best part of it. You will learn. You will never feel the time passing by. You become super strong as a student. Anytime you miss something, you can watch interactive replays. Whatever notes that your teachers are giving, the master teachers, you can download them. And yes, n number of you know, doubts that you have. Any number of doubts, you can get them solved inside the session. There are exclusively people waiting to solve your doubts. Periodical tests and assignments and more importantly, guys, 5,000 plus topic-wise, chapter-wise, micro courses. Sir, generally when I study different subjects, I don't understand certain topics. Pick those topic courses on those topics and learn them. Certain chapters are very challenging. Pick those chapters and learn them. So guys, that's the best part. Make use of it and in case you're preparing for competitive exams, free crash courses. So a lot of features, a lot of classes, less price. <coughs> I hope you like it, right? Didn't, don't you? So guys, now moving on. Uh, there is a link given in your description box. You see that blue box there? In that link, we have pinned uh, a link. You know, I mean, uh, a link in the description box. Click on the link. Look at the subscription if you want. And if you want, no force, no obligation. You can go for it. Uh, use this coupon code SRPRO to get a 50% discount. Guys, to learn from the master teachers with all the features which I just spoke about, you're going to spend 2 rupees per class. 
2.5. Amazing, isn't it? We ran this offer only till 14th of this month. But uh, there was a super welcome. Students really liked it because it's the exam season, right? So then we expanded it for a few more days. So it might get closed anytime. Make use of it. Yes, 2.5 rupees per class. Now let us jump in. Ready, all of you? Give me a yo. I'm going to start the first story. Hey, Darshan, you are a rock star. Yeah, not me. Come on, you guys are always rock stars. Suhani, many more happy returns of the day, beta. God bless you. Superb. First story. Desert animals. Guys, this is more than a story. This is like a documentary. Oh. If you watch, the, if you when you go through this particular story, you know, uh, this chapter, it is as if you are watching Discovery Channel or Nat. Right? So, the story, it speaks a lot about the life of desert animals and how they adapt to those tough conditions in deserts. All right, it first speaks about how tough or what kind of places deserts are, where, how dry they are. All right, so the animals living in desert, they have to develop their own capability to adapt to those conditions. Say, for example, gerbils spend the hottest part of the day in the burrows, right? They create the burrows, right? The holes inside the sand, in those burrows only they will be there so that they don't they are they don't get exposed to the heat similarly to get water in the mouth during the dry portion little moisture will be there whatever moisture is there you know beetles right beetles will catch drops of moisture in in their legs and move their legs towards the mouth until the drop of that water in the moisture that is there it falls on the mouth beetles right and the rocky deserts of America, they have rattlesnake. Rocky deserts of America, they have what? Rattlesnake. Right. They're not that great poisonous. No. And another animal living in the desert is a mongoose. Right. So we all know about camels a lot, guys. Mahesh, yeah, meet you tomorrow. So... Some camels have long shaggy coats for keeping warm in winter and some of the, you know, the same ones, they have very tidier coats during summer, slim ones, so that they can be cool. So it explains the ability of dif these different, different animals, all right, to survive without wood, food and water in deserts. Cool? Awesome. Hi, Vandana. Hi, Chandani. Johanna, Kashesh, we are dealing with the first story, Veda, Life of Desert Animals, which is the, des the name of the story is Desert Animals. Are you saying hi? Hi, Shakshi Patel. Lovely guys. Hi, Kriti, Akriti. Hi. Okay, so let's move on. Ready for the question? First question on the story. The question is, where do you find rattlesnakes? Rattlesnakes are either in deserts of Africa or deserts of America. Zuhair, come on, come on, focus on the session. Afifa, yes, you have many quests. Don't worry. Hi, Shome. Thank you, Ram, my dear Ram. Come on, come on, come on. Deserts of America, everyone is saying it perfectly right. So the right answer is... 1B, which is deserts of America, rattlesnakes are found. Now, grammar question. So, which conjunction will come in the blanks? Nobody likes her, dash, she is dishonest. And, as, which is the right answer? Come on, come on, come on, try it, let me see. Everyone is saying as. Perfectly right. And there is no way and will fit in there, right? So as is the right, correct conjunction that can be used there. Nobody likes her as she is dishonest. Now chapter number two. Ready? What if? So guys, this story is kind of a, a different story. There was a girl. 
right the narrator the, the one who narrates the story is a young girl you know what happens this girl gets very very uh, a lot of negative thoughts in her mind especially during the night at night a lot of unpleasant thoughts what you know it is called what if what if kind of a thoughts she thinks in the night what if i suddenly lose my ability to speak all right what say if my school closes the swimming pool what if someone beats me badly right what if someone puts poison in my cup which i drink these kind of negative thoughts she gets a lot all right and she also thinks that no big Oh, I I can you know I can become or fall sick any time or die. I can fail in the exam any time. Negative thoughts are haunting her, and the worst part is it happens only in the night. All right, the other such bad situations are that the wind may tear up the kite. There is a kite flying. The wind may tear it, or a war breaks out. Her teeth grows in irregularly, one longer, one shorter. or she never she, she may never learn to dance these kind of very strange thoughts keep haunting her and the girl narrates that beautifully in the story what if it's a poem so when she wakes up the next morning during night all these thoughts come but however the next day when she wakes up she finds that everything is normal nothing has happened all right she fears that oh no oh, no, oh god again in the night this is going to happen Hey, what's on? No, no, banyan tree. I am yet to start. Next story will be the banyan tree. Okay, be ready. Are you guys clear with this? Before we jump into the question, guys, don't ask for a recap. These are small, small stories. Okay, clear? Shall we move on to the question? Yo. Come on, DFSRs gaming. That's okay. Even if you have studied, go for it. The girl, the narrator, doesn't want to die or live. Which is the right answer? Simple. Yeah. This is a sitter for rock stars like all of you. You guys are rock stars. So a a a a, the girl doesn't want to die, guys. She wants to live, but she fears that she may die, she may fall sick, and all blah blah blah. So she does not want to die. That's the right answer. Now the grammar question. <clears throat> Fill in the blanks with the appropriate preposition. I bought a car. Dash my birthday. In my birthday, bought bought. The word is bought. Look at the verb, bought in or on. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Yes, guys, you guys are bang on here. Super. Everyone is saying on, 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 on. Exactly. Yes. On is the right answer. I bought a car. It is done. Past tense, right? I bought a car on my birthday. <clears throat> right. Here we go. Chapter number three, the banyan tree. Look at the tree. All right. Ah, uh, one of my favorite trees, guys. The real word which can describe a banyan tree, a a well-grown banyan tree, is magnificent. All right. If at all we see, you know, such a magnificent tree, strong, magnificent. You know, you can see that. No problem, Sakshi. Go ahead. All right. So, regarding the story, so the narrator thinks about you know we all I'm sure many of you and uh, most of you you would have uh, seen a banyan tree or uh, or sometimes you would have even played under a banyan tree. I have done it n number of times <clears throat> during your childhood, right? Especially you know uh, when we visit our grandparents' places, etc., villages. You always or most of the villages have a banyan tree, under which there will be kind of a a small structure where you can sit or sleep, whatever you want, you can do. So the narrator speaks about her, you know, his childhood memories uh, in his grandparents' house in Dehradun. The magnificent banyan tree with twisted roots, extended branches. It was like a house for squirrels, 
butterflies, birds, etc. <clears throat> so the narrator spends a lot of time near the banyan tree spying that area. So uh, the child has, you know, he, he becomes, gets friendly with a, a small squirrel, a grey squirrel, which was not so happy initially when this guy came. However, slowly the squirrel gets into his pockets for food items like cake, biscuits, all right, which he gave. And as a result of it, both of them get friend friendly. Cool? Both of them get friendly. And during the spring, the banyan tree flourishes with a variety of birds. A lot of birds visit the banyan tree. The narrator made a resting place for himself and read a lot of books as well. That's how he used the banyan tree. And one day, the child witnessed there a, a very fierce fight between a mongoose and a cobra. So the battle took an ugly turn when both of them started very fiercely fighting. So both of them attacked each other. All right, to make the best of the opportunity, the mina and the crow came. For what? To catch the snake. Because snake is a prey for them, right? For crow and all. They tried to attack the cobra to take it away. However, the snout of the cobra's head, it hit the crow and the crow fell down and in some time it died. The boy witnessed that the mongoose won the contest by its swift actions. He killed the snake. He killed the snake and it dragged, you know, the mongoose dragged the snake into the bushes. Mina followed, but now it could not do anything. Flew away. So this is the story of a banyan tree, beautifully narrated. You guys, all of you should read the story once. Okay, cool. So guys, question time. Are you ready? Come on, come on, come on. Are you guys ready for the question? Here we go. How was the banyan tree used by the author? He used it as a bedroom to sleep under it or he used it as a library to read under it. Come on guys, give me the answer. Hi Sida, welcome back beta. How are you? Guys, come on, I'm waiting for your answers. How was the banyan tree used by the author? Bedroom or a library? A or B? Not getting any responses. Is everything fine? Oh, getting a little low. Oh no, connection. What is the connection problem? Superb. All of you are saying B, 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 B. He was, he used to read under it. Correct. He used it as a library. Library is the right answer. So guys, we are done with the banyan tree. So what is the synonym of the word awful? Synonym means what? Word with similar meaning. Tiresome, terrible, which is the right answer guys. Come on, try it. Tiresome, terrible. Terrible, right? Awful means terrible. Something terrible happened. Terrible is the right answer. Beautiful it is. Super. Hey guys, the final small story before we jump into the mentee. Ready? Here it comes. Fair play. The name of the story. It will take you through the life of two friends. Alright. Both of them had a fair sense of justice. They want to Ensure that justice prevails at any point in time. Who are they? What are their names? Juman Sheikh and Algu Chaudhary. Juman Sheikh and Algu Chaudhary. Good friends. They are famous for their loyalty and service to each other. And Juman's aunt transfers her property to Juman. Uh, in the condition that you have to take care of me till my end. Until I die, you have to take care of me. Right? However, after a few years, he changes. You know, Juman initially starts treating her well. He gets the property, starts treating her well. But after a few years, he starts ill-treating her. 
So she takes the matter into the court, right? We call it as panchayat there in villages, right? And we know who was the punch. The person who was supposed to give the judgment was Algu. Algu was the punch. All right, the judge, as we call it. You know what Algu says? Though Juman was Algu's best friend, he says he wants to be loyal and we want the justice to prevail. He favors the truth and Juman's aunt wins. Because of it, Juman starts hating Algu. Now, after a few days, another case comes against Algu. All right, now punch is Juman. Though both are, you know, Juman is not liking Algu, Juman also wants justice to prevail. So he gives the decision in favor of Algu, despite his hatred against him. So thus, Juman realizes that the position and responsibility of a punch, being a judge, is so important and what Algu has done is correct earlier. And he says the voice of the punch is nothing but the voice of God. Whenever you are in the position of a judge, you are like a God to both the people, both the parties. You need to ensure justice prevails. So we are done with four stories. Moving on to the question. Ready? Here we go. So, whose voice is the voice of God? Algus or Punch? Whose voice is the voice of God? Algu or Punch? Come on, come on, come on. Everyone is saying B, 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 which is Punch. Is it Punch? Really? Yes, it is. Wow, you guys are awesome. <clears throat> so, next, the final question before I'm ending. What is the antonym, the opposite of regular? Irregular or unregular? Regular, irregular or unregular? What is the opposite? Come on, come on, come on, try it, I want. I'm waiting for that. Yeah, yeah, everyone is saying yeah, 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 yeah. Is it right? Sure. So, you guys are saying irregular. Let's see. Wow. Irregular is the right answer. Awesome, guys. So, ready? Are you ready for a menti, guys? Give me a yo. Come on. Ready for a menti. Hey, guys. So, four stories we dealt with, right? Starting from the, the desert animals. Right? We also dealt with fair play. Correct? So, the banyan tree. Yes, all the four. Ready? Here it comes. The menti on your screens. So, guys, I want all of you to open a browser window like this. And go to this website, menti.com. What is the website name? Menti, menti.com. One final time, men, men and women are there, right? Men, menti, menti.com. Once you go to that, it's going to ask you for a code. Please enter the code. So the code for today's menti is, so shall I reveal the code? Ready all of you? The code is this. Five, six, I'm sorry, five, eight, seven, zero, nine, six, one. Five, eight, seven, zero, nine, six, one. Come on, come on, come on, join fast. Daimala, you have to open a separate website called, go to, you open your browser, Google Chrome, uh, internet, uh, Edge, Microsoft Edge or Safari, whatever browser you, you have, open that in the address bar, type menti.com, M-E-N-T-I.com. And then it'll ask you to enter the code. The code for today's menti is 
पवन इट्स ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम परफेक्टली फाइन थैंक यू तानु प्रिया हाई वेलकम बैक सेंटीपेट ओके रेडी ऑल ऑफ यू सो गाइस थर्टी मोर सेकेंड्स थर्टी मोर सेकेंड्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल हिट योर स्क्रीन्स हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चंस आर देयर सेवेन क्वेश्चंस आर देयर बी रेडी सिंजनी मेनी मोर हैप्पी रिटर्न्स ऑफ द डे गॉड ब्लेस यू बागिया हाई Yashashri, hi. I hope you are enjoying the session, aren't you? Okay, Abhilasha, hi. So, guys, first question, hitting your screens now. So, what is the first question? How do poisonous snakes kill the human beings? Simple question. It's a general knowledge question. I would call it, though it is from the story. Fighting with them, gripping them, just with one bite. How do poisonous snakes kill human beings? Fighting with them, gripping them, just with one bite. Just with one bite. Most of you got this right. Super. You know, very very rare chance of us surviving when very highly poisonous snakes bite us. They bit us. So after the first question. Tamem, Aragamuttu Ayya, Vaibhav, Sri Hari, Optimus, Top Five, Darsh, Kumuda, Kartika, Rishu, and Venetia, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. So, guys, here it comes. Question number two. On your screens. Here we go. Give one word for a government by a king or a queen. So, guys, when one person there is a king or a queen ruling a place, you call that as democracy, monarchy, republic. A king or a queen. Monarchy, guys, guys, come on. Never choose democracy for this kind of a question because democracy is all about people and not. Dictators or kings or queens. Monarchy is the form of system of governance where king or a queen rules the place. So two questions are done. Five more guests there to go. Who's at the top now? Tamim. Looks like Vaibhav, Aragamuttu, Sri Hari, and Venetia. Top five: Kumuda, Arjun, Rishi, Pugi, and RCB. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready for question number three, all of you? Here we go. What is the cause of fearfulness, guys? When do we get scared? When you don't have money, or when you are not confident, or when you lack leadership? <laughs> when do you get scared? When are you? What is the cause of fearfulness? That's what I asked in a different way to make it simple for you. Lack of money, lack of confidence. Wow, guys, super! You know, you filled my heart with joy. You should understand it deeper. When we lack confidence, we are scared. When you are not confident to speak in front of people, you are scared. Correct? Beautiful, beautiful. So three questions are done, and I see Tommy. Still at the top, followed by Aragamuttu, Vaibhav, Sri Hari, Varjun. Top five: Kumuda, Venetia, Pugi, Aditya, and Rishi. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question four: Three more to go. And the here, here it is popping onto your screens. Article: <clears throat> Dash price of petrol keeps rising. A uh, and the. So look at the consonant or the vowel sounds. You will know what is the right article. Which one to fill the blank with? Simple. It's a sitter. All of you will get it right. The you it cannot have a price, guys, because it's petrol. It's a known thing. So the pr the price of petrol keeps rising. 
<clears throat> Four questions done. Here we go. Looks like Tamim well at the top. Followed by Vaibhav, Srihari, Aragumuttu, Arjun. Top five. Kumuda, Venetia, Aditya, Rishi and Pugi. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey guys, are you enjoying the quest? Hit the like button now guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the like button. Let me see how many likes are there. Zohar, it's okay. Please rejoin beta. It's okay. Awesome. <clears throat> By the way, guys, just a quick reminder. The 50% discount is there. Uh, description. The link is there in the description box. And the coupon code is SRPRO. Make use of it. Okay. <clears throat> Question number five. What did the narrator give to the squirrel? Give the squirrel to eat. He gave fruits, peanut, or cakes and biscuits. The right answer. Hi, Abhishek Yadav. How are you, beta? Cakes and biscuits, guys. Come on. How did you guys forget this? You got to listen clearly and carefully, right? Cakes and biscuits. Pockets. It used to search in his pockets, remember? So now, Tamim, still at the top. The lead is good. Good lead. Followed by Vaibhav, Arjun, Rishi and Aditya. Top five. Venetia, Srihari, Kaushik. Hi, Kaushik. Supankana, Rupankana, or subscribe. Unique. So, question number six. Guys, just one more to go. Be geared, all of you. Come on, come on, come on. Prepare yourself. Here we go. <clears throat> Question number six on your screens. Tense. Call me when you dash time. Simple here. Yeah. Has, had, have. Come on. Can I ask you a simpler question than this? Call me when you dash time. Has, had, have. Have. How many of you chose have? Come on, you guys are rock stars here. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. I know, you know. I know that you like you guys know it. So the final question before the tamale comes in. Guys, looks like there is a change now. Vaibhav? Vaibhav is at the top, followed by Rishi, Arjun, Srihari, Tamim. Top five. Venetia, Rupankana, Strujan, RCB, and Shivansh. High five, Shivansh. Good. Malvika, how are you? So the final question on your screens now. Zida, it's okay, fine. Where was the panchayat held? The panchayat was held under the people tree, old neem tree, under the old banyan tree. The panchayat was held under which place? Hi, Fiba Elsa. How are you? Under the banyan tree. Guys, how did you choose people tree in old neem tree? Where did you find this? Come on, you, you cannot, right? So, who's going to win? Is it Vaibhav? Oh, no. Look at it. Looks like Sri Hari is there at the top. Wow, 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 wow. What a twist. Sri Hari is winning, followed by Venetia, Rupankana. Guys, great job, Sri Hari. Congratulations. Venetia, Rupankana. Sujan, RCB, top five. Great job done. Arya, Nishit, Dia, Palak, and Afya. Amazing, guys. Kudos to all of you. Great job. Keep it up. So, guys, there could have been so many of you who got the right answer, but you could not kind of get into the leaderboard. It's okay. Hats off to all of you, guys. Just practice more to be fast. You will win. You will get into the mentee. So, guys, I hope that is it for now. You, I hope you like the session. Hit the like button. That's the only way I know that you liked it. Right? And yes, become a part of our family by subscribing to the channel, guys. We would love you to be a part of Vedantu Young Wonders. In case you have not subscribed, please do so. And whenever you subscribe, hit the bell icon. Thank you so much, guys. Lovely, as usual, interacting with all of you. I will meet you guys in the next session. Until then, this is Sundar Rabindranath and signing off, kids. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye-bye.